Today, you're going to learn how to make custom mockups in a matter of seconds. And once you know the process, it's really just a breeze. So we're going to be working in Photoshop for today's video. And you're going to want to have an image. And you can obviously take this yourself if you've got a decent camera. Or you can just simply download a royalty free image from somewhere like Unsplash. Now upload your image to Photoshop and then pick a nice and a vibrant color. Take the rectangle tool and draw a shape that covers the area that you wish to mock up on your image. Now go ahead and right click the shape layer and convert it to a smart object. Now this first of the two examples in today's video is the easiest way, but I do have something else to show you about the mock up creation process. You can label this layer something like place design here. And to do that, just simply double click the layer. Now for the next step, it's pretty wise to lower the opacity and then go up and select transform and distort. This would allow the dimensions and the perspective to be true and your design will follow the contour of the image background. This does require some precision to place the small object neatly over your design. So I'm just going to fast forward this process because you probably don't want to watch me moving this thing around for a few seconds. So now press enter and reset the opacity back to 100%. So for this first example, it's almost complete actually, but double click the layer here and a new window should open. This is where your design is going to go. And this will be the thing that is placed onto the mockup. And so for the purposes of today's video, I'm just going to make a crude design with the available imagery that I've got open right now. And when you're ready, save the file and it should automatically save to temporary items and don't change a single thing and just click save. Now your design is on the mockup, but what if your screen or whatever you're using has rounded edges? Well, I'm going to quickly show you how to deal with that in the next part of today's video. So the bottom of this phone screen has rounded edges, as you can see, and I have already made the smart object. So now I'm going to apply a layer mask by clicking this icon in the bottom of the layers menu. And now it's just a case of taking the brush tool and you want to use black, which will erase the areas of your smart object, or you can use white to replace them back in. Using this method, you can carefully remove the pixels that make up that around edge corner. And again, it's just going to be some precision on your part to make this happen. And so of course you just want to repeat the same process as before and you'll end up with a, another neat mockup. So on to the next mockup, which is actually my favorite of the two. And these mockups are the most basic and the most simple that you can do in a matter of seconds. And for this one, snap a high quality image or just download one of some clothing. And we need to make a few adjustments and that starts with a Gaussian blur you only need to apply a very slight blur and this is going to help the logo or your design blend onto your mockup. So once the blur has been applied, desaturate the image like so in the layers panel. You then need to press command or control M and this will bring up the levels panel. And here we want to make the contrast more apparent on your design. For this effect, contrast is good and it's going to be your friend. We're now ready to save this document as a PSD file and you want to name it something like displacement and make sure it's saved somewhere that you can easily access. So then close the document and open up the original file. Simply transport your design into the document and make sure you choose pixels only as the effect will only work on a raster file. If you do need to rasterize it, come up to your layers and then rasterize. After positioning your design, come up to distort and displace, locate that PSD file and bingo. We now have your design following the contours of the clothing.
Moreover, we can adjust the blend mode to something like overlay or soft light. And if you press command or control J, you will duplicate your design layer, which will really punch and give more impact to that design. But lastly, a really neat effect is to apply a color overlay. And this gives you control of, of course, the color of your design. Which of the two mockups do you find most interesting? And of course, if you want to make some more neat designs, click one of the videos on screen and do subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. Until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.